Hey guys, Peter Von Panda here. In order to enhance my street cred as a prepper, I've gone ahead and outfitted my home with a generator. And in fact, this one is a Honeywell whole house generator. And I just wanted to show it to you. I've had it for a little while now. Um, you know, generators don't really mean you're totally prepped for anything. You still need, in this case, natural gas coming to the house. But in a lot of cases, that natural gas coming to the house is much more passive than electricity. And so you'll probably have natural gas in an emergency and it'll power this generator. Now it's just a big engine. It's kind of like a any other uh, engine. The, when the power goes out, the generator will sense that and kick on and use the natural gas to run a motor, which will generate power and feed into the house through your circuit breaker, and in this case, power my whole house. Um, so you can get these in kind of various capacities. Uh, this one is a 22,000 kilowatt, I believe is how they measure it. Um, but I just wanted to show it to you because it's pretty cool. Uh, first of all, you'll have um, on these Honeywell, uh, you can add a wireless generator monitoring system so you can check from your smartphone or iPad, etc., etc. It's great if you um, are not around or um, you have a rental property or a vacation home or something like that where it's something that you want to know the status of. And secondly, there's a panel right here and you can see that there's a light visible. Um, in this case, the green LED is lit, but there's a yellow and a red. This is indicating that it's the generator is in good working uh, operation and does not require maintenance. When this starts turning red, you're gonna have to call your service company to uh, come and unlock this, open it up and change the oil, just like any other engine. There's also on here a couple of standard outlets so you can plug in when you lose power and the sucker's running, um, you know, some extension cords if need be. And then you also have your GFCI breakers on here as well. So that is this side of the generator and on this side you can see here there's something this is where the exhaust comes out I've got a little bit of oil and exhaust leak on the ground so keep that in mind when you have installed you may have a little bit of seepage there so when you do lose power that generator will kick on and then through this sync smart switch honeywell box uh, the power will be routed into your standard uh, breaker box for the house and then it powers the rest of your house cool thing is here it's totally automated this box here you won't do anything with the nice folks at Honeywell are the ones that will be the only ones that open and service that but um, as soon as the power comes back on and it detects that you have electricity the generator will kick off and you'll go back onto your main power source now the other question you probably have is what does the generator sound like let me tell you two things here First of all, just like any engine, or like any collector car, it needs to be started up from time to time. And the generator that I have comes on once a week and runs for 25 minutes. So as you can see, it's pretty loud. Definitely it's about as loud as a motorcycle. Although it doesn't have kind of the uh, thumpity thump that say a Harley puts out but it's really smooth kind of sounds like a really large lawnmower so maybe you're in the prepper mindset but uh, for a lot of us that might suffer from the occasional power outage usually from inclement weather the Honeywell whole house generator can really be a godsend for keeping your life in your house operating as normal. Peter Von Panda for the Honeywell Whole House Generator. Out!